Hello, I'm Landis and welcome back to Subnautica. Okay, today we're going to leave off naming the prawn, give you guys a couple more days, we'll do it in the next episode on Friday. And for those of you that have missed it, if you head back to the previous episode, we do still have a poll running to name the prawn. There are five selections, so don't miss out the chance to have your say. Now while we leave the scanner room sat here scanning for court, of which it's found bugger all of. Let's uh, just reset that. What we're going to do is build a base out of it. It's been a while since I've uh, done any building. So we're on what? Three at the moment. Hey, there's the quartz. So let's build a few more. What I want to do is go about 10 in and then add a uh, hatch so we've got easy access. To realise at this stage while trying to talk while I do this, I've forgotten what I, uh, I'm on. I should be 10 there. Let's go back and have a count. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So, on number 10, add a hatch. Nice. Look at the lovely safe view. Still only one quartz. Have we really farmed up all the quartz? It's going to be uh, annoying if we have. Right. Off we go again. To number one. Two. Going to run out of glass soon. Is that five? It is. Ah, we got six. Let's run all the way back and hope we've got enough glass to at least get to the next bit. Wow, that's a long way. A nice view the whole time. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. We can do three more afterwards. And then we've pretty much used up all our resources. It does look like we had not found any more ports. That, that could possibly be because of the camera. So on the off chance that that is messing about, we're just going to drag that back home. I've uh, noticed in the past that it does mess about sometimes when you've got the cameras around with the areas it's scanning it does tend to focus a bit more around the cameras but that may just be me imagining it I would hope that there's more quartz than that Otherwise, it's going to get very difficult to build anything. Still just that one. Oh no, ah, there you go. I see a couple more have appeared now. Let's have a look where this one is. Oh, nice and easy. Oh yeah, it's found a cluster of them over there now. So either through coincidence or the fact that we have just proven it. It's uh, not sure. The fact that it is around the area the camera was is a good indication. Either way, we'll leave that going for a bit. Right, 
Right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And number ten. I imagine this is incredibly riveting viewing for you right now. Oh, it's getting murky. Though we got a nice view there. Oh yeah, look at all that quartz popping up now. It's definitely got something to do with the cameras. Okay, we should be able to build three of these. And then we're going to run out again. Okay. Our whole strength is getting sh shocking. Whereabouts are we? Whereabouts are we heading? Oh, we've almost made it this far. Where away are we? Not far. Are we heading into the side of the Aurora? Huh. We are. may have to take a sharp turn off to the side. Probably when we hit this wreck. Now, I've got a couple of choices. We can sit and farm some quartz up. Or we could push on and try and do something else while we wait for the scanner room. I was thinking one of the most recent guides I did was for the precursor caches. For the guides that never went in them, I've never looked at them. Welcome aboard, Captain. Never actually seen them before. So maybe someone I might want to have a look at. If I can remember where they are. Right, first thing we need to do is get rid of you. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Now let's get into curiosity. Welcome aboard, Captain. The size of that thing. Beautiful, and you need to stop moving. Right. Are you nice and healed up? You're not. It's probably damaged from when I jumped on it with the prawn. Okay, you're done. Uh, depth module. Sonar. Energy. And perimeter. So, get you nice and upgraded. Beautiful. Now let's go get ourselves geared. Beautiful, beautiful iron of earth and right there. Perfect parking. Let's eat too much fruit. And... Oh uh, yes. Let's see how you do with both of these running. And the scanner room. still drop a little bit right so there are three caches which means we need three of you providing we actually find what we're looking for Let's see ah oh, yeah we're getting a nice spread of quartz hopefully that'll be nice and sorted by the time we get back Okay, off we go. Alright, let's try and remember. We'll head this way because I know there's one roughly over here somewhere. I believe. Just trying to remember them. K. 
Okay. After a lot of messing about, I think I'm finally in, in a place I want to be. I mean, I also don't want to be. Uh, whereabouts are we? Hmm. Just keep going this way, I think. I remember there being an L shape I'm aiming for. Oh, I've already gone too far. No, there's an L shape. Down this way. No. This looks like a way into the Lost River, maybe. Scary. Local scans show a nearby opening yeah. leading to a biome with extensive fossilized remains. It's not what we're after just yet. Okay, not missing that. Oh hell, this turns. Jesus. I'm concerned I have not got enough space for all of this. Also, it sounds like something's trying to eat me. Welcome aboard, Captain. Right, that's nice. Found another place to get quartz. Right, so if you're the L. And, ah, it's here because of the uh, precursor light. Where's the other ones? There. <laughs> also, damn. Let's get you in here for safety. Oh, it's not me you're trying to eat. It just sounds like a great big dirty... Right, onwards. Can I actually explore one of these for once? Yeah, because in the guides, this is as far as I got. I never actually went inside. Cube heaven. Annoyingly, the space I can't use for quartz. Eh, why not? Don't really care that much. That's all it is, just like a little dump for iron cubes. Okay. The Santi Chamber consists of a series of data hubs, each adorned with an iron cube. These are networked up to the main terminal in parallel, presumably to ensure data integrity over time. Unprecedented data complexity, stored data was scanned into the system at the local terminal, original data source was organic in nature. Evidence suggests that this antechamber served as a sanctuary of last resort for the aliens that built it. In the event of a catastrophe, they could retreat here and somehow transfer themselves to the data hubs for preservation. It's unclear whether other members of the alien species ever returned here, or how many souls are backed up on the hubs, but the data stored is far too complex to reconstitute with the little information available. Okay. So, kind of like teleportation pads, but just for the brain pattern. The 
think it has the ability to take the information but not remake it at the other end. I don't know. You'd assume if they could do that, they'd just remake it at the other end. Bizarre. Right, so that's one. Now I've got to try and remember where the others are. Behave. Right, set. Oh, motherfucker. I did not need you to change the music just then. Dirty girl, where is it? Might be safe. Right, so... I've got to try and remember where the other ones are. There's one in the kelp forest, I think, or the, this scary music forest. That's the one we just got. We want to head out of here and head towards the dunes. Right, yes, because I dislike that music. Hey. Hey, night time. Can't see what I'm doing. Promising. Yeah, you can actually see the entrance. That was nice and easy. Which means once we got this one, the last one's in the sparse reef. Life forms in the region. Are you certain whatever you're doing is worth it? It's probably not. But it's something more fun than building. What the fuck are you doing here? Come here, come here. Get out of it. Get out of it. Get out of it. Where are you going, fool? You're still messing about, are you? I would do this the old-fashioned way. How did that feel? You still alive? You are. Yeah, that that teacher. You fugly. Ugh. Dirty thing. Open says me. Ooh. Some violet view. Still not scandy acid mushrooms? Oh, piss off. Right, um, go away, I'm busy. I'm not even sure I can use this thing on you. Ha, ha, ha. Hey, hey, where'd you go? I have a present. And catch. Oh, that sucks. See, I don't know if these are supposed to be in here. But I'm pretty sure I can't kill them. With a knife, it's just going to take ages. Hmm. But you... Oh yeah, you come up with a bit more gusto. <laughs> take a mushroom to the face. Tastes nice? Oh, it's that power. 
All right, we're just gonna have to sack up and try. Right, this is mine. This is mine. This is mine. Oh, calm down. This is mine. Anything else? I'm dancing with the fishies. This is mine. Integrating new PDA data. Hey, I'm so moving. Right, let's get out of here. Well, wait, wait. This terminal contains data mapping the complete biological history of a member of the alien species. The data set is hugely complex, but some facts can be reconstructed. It was grown from seed 1,708 Earth years ago, separated from broodlings early for special training. Inducted into the Temple of Research as the youngest ever initiate, age 96. Downloaded a corrupted data set and was stored for three years for refactoring. Relocated to the Outer Galaxy Cluster to support disease research endeavours. Relocated to 4546B for high priority disease research. Contracted Carrara Bacterium. Stored in Sanctuary 3. Corporeal body safely disposed. Okie dokie. Let's see... If we can find the last one. Ah. We're thirsty. Vital signs stabilizing. Alright, so we need the sparse reef. Oh, we need to get the fuck out of here. Well, those a tasty amount of quartz. Oops. To probably look where I'm going. Looks like we're going to be paying a trip to the dunes. Where's my base? Oh, behave. Don't really want to turn around. Let's get the perimeter defense primed. Jesus, not only is he keeping up with me, he's overtaking me, the little sod. Well, not today. Too slow. Hey, that's gonna get me killed. Welcome aboard, Captain. Good luck, eh? Hope you all get as far as I did. Oh, gee. Um, thanks. What crap did you put in my inventory? Oh, you dirty bitch. Yeah. Thanks. Oi. Where did I put my base again? This way. People stop hurting my Seymour. People already think I'm a bad enough driver as it is. Could not have timed that much better. Right, since we're technically in a safe spot. Stupid time capsule. I think I'm just going along the dunes when I should be heading this way. So that looks weird. Huh. 
Alright, Sparse Reef. Where are you? Imagine it's around here somewhere. Stuff's loading in late on this game as well. I'm going to have to check some settings. Like that was well late. That still hasn't spawned. What's going on? Hmm. Curious. Here we have arrived. Let us see if we can remember where this one is. It's got to be in here, hasn't it? Random powered cell charger. Hey, watch out. Okay, so not here. There's quartz down here as well, is there? Okay, so maybe bringing the prawn around here. Note to self next time I do something like this, work out the bloody direction I'm going in. This looks promising and different. Ah! Dumb luck. Whatever would I do without you? Okay, no nasties in this one. And oh, more ion cubes. Um. Yeah, I don't mean it in a nasty way, but kind of don't don't do another one because that's just shit. It's almost like people don't pay attention to whereabouts you're going to find the uh, time capsules. Peeper. Yeah, behave. Integrating new PDA data. Architectural information has been downloading regarding this antechamber. That seems like it should say downloaded, not downloading. The structures mounted to the ceiling of the cavern cast a low green light over the data hubs below but they are also regulating the pH level of the surrounding water and emitting a low frequency sound wave. It is possible the intent was to ensure ideal conditions for a practical end, but their purpose may also have been ceremonial or even recreational in nature. Ornate in design, the cubes mounted on the pedestals are not being drained of power, suggesting they serve some more symbolic purpose. Similarities to old earth religious iconography may be coincidental but they may also indicate some shared and ancient cultural history. Okay. So, basically, when we die, we should put batteries on top of our gravestones. Yeah.
If you enjoyed this video, then leave a like, perhaps subscribe and check out the rest of the channel. Why not join us on the Facebook, Twitter, Discord and Patreon. Links are in the description and rolling through the credits right now. I've been Landis, this has been Subnautica. Thank you very much and see you soon.